What's going on, y'all? SCS and I'm back with another one. Put the head on the front way. Happy Veterans Day to all the veterans, man. It is Friday, Veterans Day. You know, I'm gonna hit y'all with an exclusive, man. This is uh one of the second cars that came up here. Uh, before I even start, SCS does not take cash out. Steve Davis, Steve. The only person authorized to take any payments for SES. The official website is up and it's still, I'm in, I'm in the process of working. Just for the quick orders and the small stuff. But uh, any cars, any deposit for car, like if you don't see me, it ain't me. If you don't talk to me, it ain't me. And uh, if the number don't start with 404, 464, it ain't me. Mr. Herb Chevelle, he's been up here for a month. Like I said, I'll try and get everything situated with the shop to where I can be able to work and I'm finally at that point. Still got stuff to buy, still got stuff to order, but I'm officially at that point, so. Real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and wash this car because it's been sitting and all the dust and stuff from getting the concrete grounded and sealed is on the car. So I'm gonna rinse it best I can, then wash it. You know, I'm gonna give y'all a fish you walk through on what I'm doing and what's going to get taken care of with the car. Fabricate and make uh, false floor in the trunk. We're not gonna do. I found another way to make it look clean. Just carpet on it. System wiring for you for gauges. I'm end up doing all the wiring for the gauges. So for battery relocation, diagnose wipers. After whoever saw the wipers, I mean after whoever saw the gauges, he said the wipers didn't work no more. Electric fans. I don't know if they even hooked up to the computer or what. But I'm gonna hook them up to the factory computer, so I gotta bring HP tuners over here, check the onloads for the sub. Then this is my general to do list, and this is what to get in order. Um, yeah, so let's do a little quick walkthrough on the car, man. Just wash it in the rain. I do stuff like that. Uh, so I generally like to work from the back of the car to the front of the car, top to bottom. That's how I like to work. So I start on the headliner. I'm gonna go ahead and insert that clip for y'all. All right, now inside of the car. Start on the hill on the right, and factory clips broke. The first one broke, and the second one was already broke. And then uh, once those two broke, I was able to just slide it out. But went on ahead and ordered all new clips. Right? Let me show you what happened with the dang clips, man. It was like crazy. I was like, all right, it's time for me to take a break. That's when I went home for a couple days. Uh, it was also something bigger. Got death on the family. But uh, look at this. This is how the thing came, man. I got one out of six clips yeah, without content. So the seller ended up shipping it again. I hope they put it in like a box or something because yeah, yeah I'll see what happened. Uh, Mr. Herb kind of tall, so this seat got uh, some brackets to extend it for. Uh, like I told y'all, electric fans, the gauges. I'm gonna end up taking this dash off and remounting the gauge. This dash don't have no screws either, so you gotta do some research and figure out what exact screws are in this car. Anytime I put a car together after that red car, anytime a car go back together, it's gonna have factory stuff in there. Like, there ain't no if, ands, or buts about it. I'm not working around nothing other than factory. It's just, yeah. I haven't touched anything in this car. Uh, I had somebody tell me I made that car look worse than what it was. I literally just record the car when it come. I have not touched anything in this car besides taking the headliner uh, rods out. This is exactly how I got the car. So everything's gonna be cleaned up. Uh, I'm gonna straighten this here out. Hold on, let me see if I gotta move my truck in one sec. Uh, factory door panels gonna go on, nothing, nothing here. Uh, gotta cut a hole for the locks and unlock. I mean, for the window switches. Got the manual lock and unlock. Um, he said it was alarm right here. I was like, man, it's a lot of wiring for no alarm. But he said it was an alarm under here and some wiring for a TV. 
that went on a dash, I mean, on the on the roof. But, uh, yeah, he ended up taking the TV out. And then the wiring for the dome light. This is the connector for it. But the wiring is non-existent, so I don't know. Um, we taking all of the wire that was in here out. It is CCA wire. Audio pipe, CCA wire. So, y'all know me. OLC or welding cable. That's what's gonna go in there. So, yep, all that's coming out. All of that's getting redone. Uh, the RCAs may stay once we do a sound test. If everything works, we we'll just keep the RCAs. But if they do any humming or any hissing or anything, gonna take them out. Um, yeah, let me make sure I ain't forgetting nothing. Uh, yeah, that seal was in the window. On the other side, I seen that one screw was missing up here. So I might have to take that window out just to put that screw back in. Custom back deck, uh, two six and a half, two tweeters on each side. Uh, battery relocation got dual. Yellow tops going in the battery uh, back of the trunk, probably on this side. And trunk already has holes. It's like they thought about me when they made it. Yeah, this is what I was talking about, this screw here. So we're gonna take the window out, put that screw in so this could be like that, like it's supposed to be. All right, factory computer. Might get a BIM module just so it'll be less wiring for the gauges because I'll just try to keep wiring to a minimum as far as the amount of wires in the amount of time so if a module cost me a uh, hundred bucks it'll be less than three eight four hours labor two three hours labor so you got one hour parts and one hour labor i mean a hundred dollar part in an hour of labor or it's just combined as far as labor in general it costs you less if i just get parts to make it faster but the car got cutouts let me start for y'all hold on I got a 6-0 foil 60E treads. Does run good. The electric fans don't come on at all. So I end up diagnosing that. I don't even know if it's they wire. So I see where the wiring is going. I just gotta trace it and see how it's ran. Uh clean up that there. The charger cable gonna get fussed up. Real small and puny. Tell me to put this up here. I got you, I got you. So I'm gonna make sure the car don't go past 200. But the fans ain't on. I'm just giving y'all an overview. i trunk real quick. Yeah, you tell you, tell me the fuel don't work. It's always saying full. So y'all know me with the gauges, that's an easy fix. Real easy fix. Just pulled, I just pulled the whole interior down. It was up in the loft area. Uh, so I'm ready to start the back deck, the back pods, get all that situated in the hairline. Once the clips come, I can get that situated. In the back seal panel pieces, and how that done, back seats, all the wiring for the system, how that done. But uh, got 210 type S's. So you want me to check the home load on those, make sure you're getting the most that you can get out of them. Uh, we're gonna carpet the trunk, batteries, see the holes there? Just use those um, as far as mounting points for the batteries. Could put one on each side, but I think it'd just be better to put both on the same side. Yep, got water in it for me, just rinsing it off. I think it's pretty much, I think I pretty much covered all the, what he wanted me to do. It's locked, switch. I know he wanted me to get the pieces for this to work. I told him uh, he's gonna get all the wet stripping and everything back in because this is where the water is coming in. Hopefully, nothing coming in through here. Look like it's new glass, so I don't think any water's coming from there, but you never know. You know what I'm saying? Look like it's new glass. We got the clips and the front window trim. I'm gonna ask me if you want me to get that. The net, man, I think I pretty much covered on everything. You just gotta ship me this piece for the radio. It's uh factory style bluetooth radio and it's a trim piece that go here you gotta put that back in there but yeah it's uh, definitely a decent amount of wiring in this car you gotta get done I stripped everything out prepped everything and i started making the back deck in the computer i gotta get that finished 
the pods for the rear deck, how that knocked out. I really need those headline clips and I'm gonna start closing in on uh, the interior, getting everything situated, mounted, and last pieces ordered. All right, that's good. Thought I'd give y'all a nice video. Mr. Herb 71. She will. Y'all need some screws in that one too. Yeah, that window will have to come down. Have to come out. Yep, 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 yep. yep, 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 yep. So, I'm gonna wipe it off one more time. Put it over here against the wall. Take a nice thumbnail for y'all, but pretty much it, man. SES, man. Y'all stay tuned for the for the, for the uh put together. It ain't even getting bust down. It's already bust down. But catch y'all back on once I start.